when we give up everything, when we give up absolutely everything, all that remains is what we are. If we give up all identity, totally give up all identity, what's left? What's left is that which cannot be given up. That which always is. I am that. Body mind comes and goes, changes. I'm not the body mind. Body mind's just a mere appearance. I am that. That which I am cannot be put into words, is not anything that can be put into words. It's spirit, of course, I'm putting it into words now. It's spirit that And of course, spirit is just a, a word to use to point to that which cannot be put into words. I'm that. You give up everything, all that remains is that. If you give up all objective phenomena, doesn't mean you push them away. Just let them be. Give up body and mind. Doesn't mean you push it away or you just lie down motionless, no. You just let them do what they want to do. You let them dance however they want to dance. You can, if you give up past and future, just give up past and future, what's left? And if you give up the present moment to give up the objective appearances that appear now, if you let go of all thoughts, so we're not really paying attention to anything at all, this is how we penetrate through the veil. This is how we penetrate through Maya. Penetrate through illusion. Discover the real that is within all illusion. Underlying, upholding all illusion is the real. But caught in thought, caught in thought, we perceive time, person, place, body, mind, world, problems, sufferings, questions, answers, teachers, teachings. Actions, consequences of actions, worry, strife. But if we let go of all this and allow love in, and through this present moment, penetrating through this present moment, I am that. That is what I am. the ineffable spirit, the ineffable substance, the substanceless substance. I am that, that is what I am. You can call it spirit, beingness, divinity, love, consciousness,
but beyond all these words. It is this, this spirit that is beyond time and location and body and mind and thinking beyond any kind of thinking. I am that. To identify with the body is suffering. Is duality. Is the original sin. Is maya. Is ignorance. To allow the body to be what it wants to be. And to let go of the body, meaning there is no longer any identification. Meaning that there is no attachment to the body. Letting go of past and future, we come to the present moment. And letting go of any trace of past or future, the present moment itself is penetrated into. For most of us, even when we let go of the past and future, in the present moment, there's still a micro past and a micro future. There's a, there's a small sense of, just in like a second, there's a second, is a, there's a distance, there's a, there's a duration of time. And in that duration of time of one second, there's a micro past and a micro future, a mini past, a mini future. And if we let go of even those micro, mini past, mini futures, the present moment becomes so still, we penetrate the veil of ignorance. There's no room for any thought because all thinking occurs in time. There's a past and a future with thinking. All sentences, if you, if you listen to someone say a sentence, you have to listen to the beginning of the sentence, the middle of the sentence, and the end of the sentence. So there's time to even hear a thought, to listen to a sentence, to understand, to think, requires time. But when you let go of time, when you let go of the past and future, and you let go of the micro past, the mini past, and the mini future that even occurs in this present moment, then you realize even the present moment kind of disappears or does disappear. <clears throat>